Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. The sun is shining and I am off to get a hearing test. What's that you say? Yes, I'm looking after my ears, going off to get hearing test day. As a DJ, it's so, so important to look after your hearing. And if you have never had a hearing test done or own any kind of hearing protection for your DJ gigs, stick around because I'm gonna cover all of that off in today's video. It's typical, right? I just go to leave, starts to rain. Right, so just parked up. The sun is now like glaring once again. I don't know what is going on with the weather today. Um, if you are a DJ musician, like going clubbing, or if you work in any kind of loud environment, I would thoroughly recommend you have your hearing tested. Here in the UK, we're in a really fortunate position. This service is free of charge. Like Boots Pharmacy, um, I'm not affiliated by them in any way, but they offer free hearing tests. So if your Boots has a hearing center, you can get one of these tests done. Also as well, spec savers, I believe, offer them as well. I'm with Boots today. Now, hopefully the audiologist is gonna let me film my hearing test because it would be good for you to see it, especially if you haven't had one done and maybe a bit anxious about it. Um, but we will see. If not, I will see you back here in a short while. And we're back. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film my hearing test or film in the room. Um, but essentially, if you've never had a hearing test done, you sit in a little soundproof booth. They put little foam earpieces in your ears and then the audiologist will play you a range of different sounds through those earpieces. So they vary in terms of frequency, they vary in terms of pitch as well. And then once you hear the sound, you essentially just press a button to confirm that you've heard it. Once you've had a few different sounds played at each ear, they then compile a report on the different frequencies and how well you can hear them. Now, in terms of my hearing personally, I'm sat right at the bottom of the normal range, probably a little bit worse than what is normal for someone of my age but the audiologist said it's probably because i am working in loud environments on a regular basis so with that in mind as a dj how can you protect your hearing now before we continue and talk about hearing protection and the things that you can do to minimize the risk of damage to your own hearing I must tell you that I am not a medical professional. I am not a doctor. The information contained in this whole video is for informational purposes only based on my own experiences. If you do have any concerns about your own hearing or your own health, please do consult a medical professional. So with that aside, let's talk about things that you can do to minimize damage to your hearing. And the first thing is, is when you're outside of work, not working in a club, not at a gig, turn things down. If like me, you're someone that always has their headphones in, always listens to music because you're searching out new tunes for DJ gigs, maybe you're in the gym, maybe you're commuting to work, you've got your, your AirPods in or whatever it is, turn them down a little bit. Prolonged exposure to loud music will damage your hearing and the World Health Organization actually recommend that you do not listen to music through headphones for longer than one hour a day. So make sure that you're taking regular breaks Turn things down a little bit. Remember, anything above 85 decibels for a prolonged period of time can potentially cause permanent damage to your hearing. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is if you're working in a nightclub that has monitor speakers in the DJ booth, you know, those little speakers or big speakers that are in the DJ booth facing towards you, turn them off when you don't need them. So this is in between mixes, when you just do not need to hear loud sounds in the DJ booth. I know the club is loud overall, but having those speakers blaring out so close to you is going to dramatically increase the volume of music in the DJ booth and potentially damage your hearing, okay? I actually need to practice what I preach here a little bit. I, in the past, I'm renowned for having my monitor speakers on for far too long throughout the night because, okay, I like my music loud, but when I go back to the clubs, it's something that I actively want to try and reduce the amount of time I have those monitor speakers switched 
on. My third and final tip, and probably the most important one, if you are a DJ, if you are a musician, if you work in a loud environment, if you go clubbing on a regular basis, go to gigs, all of that kind of stuff, get yourself some hearing protection. We're talking about earplugs here, okay? Now, earplugs can be extremely cheap. You can pick them up for a couple of pounds here in the United Kingdom. They are made out of foam. They aren't the best, but if you're going clubbing, they are better than nothing. Essentially, you just squeeze them, they fit in your ear, they expand, and yes, they will muddy the sound, but it provides some level of protection to your hearing. I would not recommend DJing in foam earplugs. They are going to make life very difficult for you, but if you're going clubbing and you've got nothing else, then I would recommend doing something like that. The average nightclub is about 110 decibels. Now, at 100 decibels, with no hearing protection in at all. Your ears are only safe for around 15 minutes before having some kind of damage taking place, all right? So that is how exposed you are when you are going to a loud venue. So if you're like me, working in loud venues, week in, week out, you can see the type of fatigue that that will place on your ears over time. If, like me, you are a DJ or a musician, those foam earplugs are not gonna be any good, and so I would recommend something like this, which is a custom-made earplug. Um, this is from a company called ACS, not affiliated with them. These are just like quite a go-to brand here in the United Kingdom. And essentially, um, what happens is, is you have some molds made of your ears. They squeeze like a putty in your ear. That goes hard. They then remove that putty. Um, that gets sent off to the ACS and two weeks later, or about two weeks later, you end up with a pair of earplugs that look like this. I don't know if that's gonna focus for the camera, but yeah, they, they look like this, basically, so that's what they look like. They're, they're sort of the silicon, they're soft, they're squishy, and within the middle of them, they have like this filter here, and that filter attenuates the sound. So these are called Pro 17s, and they essentially reduce the volume down um, by, 17 decibels across all frequencies. They do have different filters depending on your needs. Some attenuate the sound more, some do less. And in terms of cost, these come in at about £139 here in the United Kingdom. It may seem pricey, but in my opinion, you can't put a price on your hearing. Now, um, a Boots Hearing Centre, a Specsavers Hearing Centre where I mentioned you can get the free hearing tests will do this type of earplug for you in terms of making the molds for you at no additional charge apart from the, the retail price of the ACS earplugs, which is good. The only thing I would say is they will take a little bit of time to get used to if you are DJing in them. And if you talk on the microphone quite a lot, it will sound like you are underwater or that you're talking with your fingers in your ears. It's very odd but you, you know, it's a small price to pay um, in order to protect your hearing. In fact, I do need to practice what I'm preaching here. Now that the clubs are reopening again, it's time to reset. And I wanna be a bit more disciplined with protecting my hearing at my gigs because I have abused my hearing over the past 14 years. So there's some tips for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as ever. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you've gained some value from it. It really helps push this out to other people that are looking for the similar kind of advice and I will see you in the next video.